This video is a closer look at the gender inequality that fuels the violence that affects two out of three women from all backgrounds in the Pacific. So what does cause domestic violence? Let's rewind and see when gender inequality takes hold. Mele and Jacob are the same age. They grew up in the same village. Growing up, they learned different roles for men and women. Mele helped her mum with cooking, cleaning and childcare, while Jacob helped with outdoor work. He has more free time. Their rigid views of masculine as strong and protective and feminine as caring and serving were formed. Jacob learns that anything feminine is associated with weakness. He is teased if he shows emotion and told he kicks like a girl if he plays poorly. Jacob learns that women are valued less, boys are better than girls. Mela learns that she can't do everything the boys are allowed to do. As Mela grows into a teen, men start commenting on her body. She is told to cover herself, don't walk alone or after dark. She is made responsible for preventing men's behaviour. Meanwhile, Jacob sees his friends harassing women. It makes them seem powerful. He does it too, so his friends will respect him. The two start a relationship and both begin looking for work after high school. Mele struggles to find work. She accepts a low-paid office job. Jacob finds a higher-paying job more easily and becomes the breadwinner. Mele is dependent on Jacob for financial support. Mele does all the household chores and cares for her grandparents and their growing family. Jacob gets angry if the dishes aren't done or his clothes aren't clean. He expects dinner to be ready when he gets home. He makes major decisions for both of them. After all, he earns the most. When he starts to hit Mele, he blames her for it. He says she provokes him that she needs to try harder. That it's her role as a partner to serve him they are not equals. Mele turns to her pastor for help. He asks her to consider her own role. He reminds her that we cannot change others, but we can work to improve ourselves and be patient. In this way, church teachings can be interpreted to justify gender inequality and maintain the status quo, leaving Mele without help and Jacob in control. The police visit the house. They discourage Mele from pressing charges, downplay her experiences and encourage reconciliation. Gender inequality can be reinforced even by people who are there to help, leaving Jacob unchallenged. Mele's safety is considered less important than maintaining harmony. Gender inequality is the result of the belief that men and women have different rights and entitlements. It means that men's opinions and desires are more important than those of women. It is created and maintained through social norms, socialization of children, and institutional and structural barriers, as we've seen with Mele and Jacob. This inequality is the cause of domestic violence. Inequality between men and women and parents and children gives some people power over others, which can lead to abuse. It is embedded in the belief that women's purpose is to serve and obey, and men's role is to lead. When domestic violence is recognized as a result of gender inequality, it becomes clear that a lot of excuses for violence are just that, excuses. Domestic violence is not caused by alcohol, poor tempers, disobedient women, uncompleted household tasks, or any other excuse. It is caused because of the belief that men are entitled to have their desires met and to be obeyed, and this is power, this is gender inequality. Gender inequality is deeply rooted in our society and the source of domestic violence, but domestic violence also reinforces gender inequality. It is a vicious cycle. Family, school and church can address gender norms and attitudes in children before they become ingrained. Media affects how people view each other. Working towards representation of equal relationships between genders can help change people's minds. Gender inequality programs, such as improving support and response services, must include men and women. 
To summarize, gender inequality causes domestic violence. Domestic violence is fueled by inequality, power and control. Domestic violence is often blamed on excuses. Gender inequality and domestic violence are a cycle. Domestic violence is a violation of human rights. We can stop the cycle of violence by working together to transform harmful social norms. In an equal society, everyone thrives.